Welcome back family, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sir Loco 187 coming at you with another video. Uh, and today I'll be doing an unboxing and uh, I will be unboxing the Air Jordan 1 Gore-Tex in the colorway of black and particle gray. And uh, before I get started, I'm just gonna do a quick 360. See, see what your boy's rocking. You see what's on feet, right? So anyway, I will be dropping a video uh, you know with a on feet look and uh, swap out laces and a couple different looks so that video will be coming soon and if this is one of, if this is your first time watching one of my videos by all means do consider subscribing if you like what your boys cooking and also to the rest of y'all the rest of the family I appreciate y'all I appreciate it if y'all hit that thumbs up and make sure y'all turn on your notification turn on your notification bell so when your boys are locals cooking in the kitchen y'all be the first ones to come get it and y'all know how we do it around here in this channel walk with me and grow with me you know what I mean we learn and grow together you know not only in the, in the sneaker community but as a person as well you know what I mean each one teach one so with that being said you know make sure you hit that thumbs up you know help feed the algorithm like they say get my get my videos out there and help this channel grow and reach a thousand so hey your boy can be monetized and invest in this channel and bring you more early looks early looks if you will so I got a couple special announcements I'm excited. Uh, I want to send a special shout out to El Chino La Vida. You know, me and him are, got our early looks with these uh, Air Jordan 1 Marinas as well. And uh, man, he's been showing your boy mad, mad support and mad love too. So, uh, you know, that's his YouTube channel, El Chino La Vida. You know, go check him out. Go show him some support if you can. And, uh, you know, he drops some great content as well. And also, too, special announcement. I'm excited. Shout out to my boy Talking With Ed, uh, he's another content creator on YouTube, he reached out to me uh, a couple days ago, asked me if I would be in the hot seat and go live with him, and it's pretty much like a Q&A, and, &A. and uh, I said sure, why not, you know what I mean, why not, you know, so if y'all can, if y'all, uh, you know, are available Sunday, it will be February 6th, this Sunday at 7 p.m., you know, Talking With Ed in the hot seat your boy Sherlock will be in the hot seat so if you can you know like I said hey go follow him too uh, I'll, I'll try to leave uh, his link in the description if I don't leave a link I'll leave the hashtag and, and y'all go look him up and if you like what he's cooking as well you know please consider uh, following him and, and subscribing to his channel as well so I appreciate you El Chino La Vida and I appreciate you talking with Ed for inviting me uh, you know in the, in the hot seat and it's going to be pretty good, you know, I don't know what questions she's going to ask me, I don't know what we're going to talk about, and, you know, y'all have to stay tuned in, and, uh, you know, find out, you know, and if y'all can make it, or if y'all going to stop by, at least to send a shout out on the live, you know, drop a thumbs up in the comment section, you know, but that would mean a lot to me if y'all would show some love and support, and it'll be on his channel, Talking With Ed, one more time, you know, February 6th at 7 p.m., so with that being said, uh, the sneaker that I'm going to be unboxing is the Air Jordan 1 Gore-Tex, like I said. They originally released uh, December 4th, 2021, if I'm not mistaken, and they retail for $200. And they come in two colorways. They came in two colorways. Uh, light Bone, which is like two different shades of gray, and the one I'll be unboxing and, and reviewing uh, today, which is black and particle gray as well. And uh, sneakers did a... A drop if you will in the sneaker reserve I believe it was on a Tuesday uh, January 22nd someone correct me if I'm wrong on the date but I believe it was on a Tuesday January 22nd and they had uh, quite a bit of sneakers on there they had uh, the Air Jordan 12 royalties they had the Air Jordan 5 uh, what's that uh, orange blaze they had uh, the particle grays both colorways the light bone and, and the one I'll be unboxing today they had the Pine Green Jordan Greens, and uh, what else did they have? They had the Air Jordan 9 boots, the black one with the gum bottoms, and uh, they had the ladies Air, Fo uh, Air Jordan 1 Seafoam, and what else did they have? I feel like I'm missing one more, but but that's what they did. That's what they dropped. That was uh, what, what was on the sneaker reserve, uh, and uh, like I said, I believe they dropped on uh, February, I mean February, January 22nd, you know, I believe it was on a Tuesday, and uh, I received my pair that I'm about to unbox uh, a couple days ago, actually, so, now, disclaimer, 
I was only able to get my hands on a 10 and a half so you know there won't be no on feet or nothing like that with this video and uh, you know hey that's the only thing I can get my hands up you know my hands on you know what I mean so I actually excited about this uh, review and this look I wanted to get them in hand uh, you know uh, just to see the materials in hand and, and give you my, my thoughts and opinion on that and so here we are um, don't forget I do have another early look coming it's it's in it's, it's on the way it's been on its way like i said in uh, my last video in the air jordan one marinas unboxing that video i mentioned and if y'all haven't checked that video out please check it out and uh let your boy know what y'all think about the silhouette you know what i mean the air jordan one marinas but i do have another early look coming i should have had it monday but uh you know like i mentioned in that video it, it's originating from new jersey and, and you know the winter storm has been hammering a lot of people up north and in the east and even like in the in, in the mid midwest you know what i mean sections and uh we've actually got some bad weather here in north texas uh not bad compared to what you are dealing with but uh you know bad as far as you know texas is concerned you know we got freezing rain wednesday night and uh we got actually a couple inches today and uh, as of the recording of today you know it's uh the third you know february 3rd thursday and uh you know the high was like 20s you know so everything froze up and then i put salt down here and whatnot so anyway that pair the last time i checked up on it i was supposed to get that monday and due to the bad weather conditions and this and that you know it's who knows when it's coming and especially uh you know tomorrow i'm sure the, the roads are probably still gonna be bad like i said they don't salt down here they might use a mixture and whatnot but it, it really does no good you know so probably due to bad weather i'm hoping i get it at the earliest saturday i'm hoping or at the latest early next week by monday or tuesday but i do have another early look coming and i'm excited i can't wait till i get that in hand you know what i'm saying to give you all that so uh stay tuned you know what i mean you want to keep your uh not turn on your notification bells you know what i mean and also too y'all might want to subscribe because this is a a fire sneaker channel you know what i mean and uh so let me get to the unboxing and let's take a first look at least my first look i mean i've seen images whatnot on the web but as far as actually having them in hand and i'll get a close-up of these in a bit uh gore-tex this is size 10 and a half your traditional box air jordan one box and we'll get a close up here in, in a minute. Nicely wrapped. Uh, going into the company by Gore-Tex. Uh, it was founded in 1958 or 1956, if I'm not mistaken. And if I get the year wrong, please forgive me. I might be off a year or two, but it was founded in 1956. And uh, the founder, Bob Gore, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he was the founder and inventor of the material that they use. Uh, and they use uh, poly, uh, let me look up, let me see, poly, po, fo, fluoro polymer. I'm sorry, I can't even pronounce it. Fluoro polymer, that's what the company deals with. And uh, the company stretches along some different industries in the defense, in the medical, in the outdoors, and in the aerospace. Uh, Bob Gore was an inventor. And, uh, you know, so, uh, let me see, floral polymer material. So, you know, the outdoors, you know, like, like the gear, the jackets, the sweaters, the clothing, and even shoes and boots, you know, and, and they basically uh, say, are weatherproof, you know, waterproof, if you will. They help keep your yourself, your body, if you're wearing the Gore-Tex gear, uh, keep your body uh, dry, if you will, and, and hence, you know, Gore-Tex on the Air Jordan One. You know, it has like that air wicking technology, if you will, materials like I just mentioned uh, to help somewhat absorb some of that rain, that water, snow, and uh, kind of help it disperse and keep your feet warm. Uh, dry excuse me so that's pretty cool and uh sadly uh bob gore the founder of gore-tex 
uh, passed away September of 2020. He was 83 years old when he passed away. So uh, condolences to his family. And uh, shout out to you, Bob, for finding these materials. Not only for like the sneakers, but uh, you know, and like I said, in these other industries that they use uh, across the board that I just mentioned, and also too for uh, the technology that was you know founded and used in, in outerwear, if you wear out, outdoors uh, uh, gear, if you will, to keep you dry. You know what I mean? And, and hence applying that to you know sneakers and, and shoes. Now, as far as I know, I'm not sure, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not sure, I'm sure I've seen some Nike Air Force One uh, Gore-Tex. Now, I don't know, uh, somebody drop a comment, let your boy know if, uh, if Gore-Tex has been used, which I'm pretty sure it has been used on other uh, different, uh, you know, companies like Adidas or, or, uh, or, uh, Reebok or whatever. I'm just throwing other names out there, you know. If they have, I'm assuming they have because it's a big, big, big company, you know. Okay, there is a QC. That's good. Ten and a half. Air Jordan 1 Element. And the colorway says black, chili red, and particle gray. I'm sorry. Air Jordan 1 element. With the Gore-Tex technology. And I think that's dope. Technology in them. Now too bad it ain't my size. Because uh, actually the weather we've gotten. Would have been perfect for demonstration. There goes a the stamping. And let's take a closer look at these bad boys. And we'll start, <coughs> oh man, excuse me. We'll start with the outsole, traditional one um, outsole. And it looks like it's got like a dark gray translucent, semi-translucent on the bottom as you can see. Got your little stars there. You got your Nike. Nike there, I don't know if y'all can see it. You got your white midsole, you got your Gore-Tex branding, and from what I read, the Nike swoosh, you know, has 3M material as well, so when light flashes on it, uh, it'll, it'll reflect and they'll be able to see you at night, which I think is dope. Perforated holes. I'm sure there's layers in there so that, uh, you know, water and whatnot doesn't get in there. And, uh, you know, I can feel the material. Um, you know, obviously it's not leather, but it does have some suede around the toe box. But right there where the perforated holes are at, it's got to be that Gore-Tex material. You got your flat laces. Now that chili red is, is probably just that, the Nike Air. The Nike Air branding on it. Your nylon tongue. Actually, it's, it's not your nylon tongue. It's actually, it's probably that material used to keep your feet dry. That's the material the, the tongue is. Floral polymer. So the tongue ain't actually nylon, y'all. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's that material that, you know, Helps keep the, your your feet dry, but it's got the flat black laces, perforated holes, like I said. You got your Nike Air, they're on a tongue, stitched on, and uh, 3M Nike swoosh. You got your Air Jordan basketball wings there, Gore-Tex branding, your particle gray, and the suede feels good. You know, it feels real good. 
and, and this uh, green, if you will. Y'all can see it better there. It's like a dark, like, like a dark green. I don't know what kind of green it is. But that material there as well is, is that air wicking that, you know, waterproof or, you know, if you will, help keep your feet dry. And you got some suede. And I'm sure it's treated, winterized, I'm sure it is. The materials feel good. You know, it's got some movement in it. Pull out the sock liner, take it out. But you know what? I love this color blocking. You know, I can deal with this color blocking, and uh, the light bone is pretty dope too. I did try to go for those, and like I said, everything sold out quick. And that sneaker reserve, and uh, these are pretty dope because, like I said, hey, these are one shoes that you wouldn't mind wearing outdoors when it's raining. That's what it's for. There you go, Gore-Tex, right on the insole padding, and it's kind of like the same deal. Like our Air Jordan ones come, you know, that real thin, real thin. That's my only complaint about the Air Jordan ones is that they give us these cheap, uh, you know, insole insole liners, if you will. They're pretty thin and cheap. That's my only complaint. But well, there you have it. You got the Gore-Tex branding there. Ten and a half. Because it doesn't have the tab, I just pull it out. It says from 526.21 through 730.21. So 526.21 to 730.21 when these were produced. So like I said, uh, this 10 and a half, this ain't my size. What I'm gonna try to do is go to a couple of uh, sneaker boutiques that I normally go to and see if, they do a, if they'll do a size swap. You know, cause I wouldn't mind actually keeping these now that I have them in hand. And like I said, hey, these will be a pair that you would not be afraid to, to wear outside when the weather, when you know, when you got some drizzle, you got some rain or even some snow your feet should still be dry with the Gore-Tex materials that's on there and I you know I do like the color blocking and the colorway the way they did this one too it's pretty dope so anyway I like it I give it two thumbs up you know color blocking uh, with the materials you know what I'm saying the, the Gore-Tex materials keeping your feet dry that's a plus so you know I give this I give this shoe two thumbs up, you know, for what it is, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, Air Jordan ones, you know, true to size, your feet's wide, hey, go, uh, go half, half, half size bigger. Let's take a look at that, uh, the outsole on the bottom again, one more time. You know, I'm glad they did a little bit, you know, some different with the outsole. And pretty much with the materials as well. You know that the material on the tongue it feels feels very secure if, if you know ain't no water getting getting in there you know what I mean so I like the color blocking the colorway hopefully they come out with more more different colorways and whatnot and uh, 3m uh, swoosh and you know what these ain't too bad too so I mean if you're interested in these you know you go in the aftermarket uh, I looked at StockX uh, today and uh, they're actually still just slightly above uh, retail, which ain't bad. You know, they're slightly above retail, like by $20, you know, $20, $25, $30, you know, which, which ain't bad, you know, for Air Jordan 1. So anyway, with that being said, you know, hey, thank you for tuning in. Drop a comment, let your boy know what y'all think about these. And, uh, you know, hey, let me know if y'all even cop these or got these in your collection or, or if y'all would, you know, cop these in your collection. If, if not this colorway, then, then, you know, the other one too that's out, the, the light bone. 
if you will. So until next time, I appreciate y'all. Uh, you know, y'all have a good night, good evening, and to the next video, peace.